I want to really recommend that you go back and listen to hashtag one and two tantalizing touch because that's so important that's about really bringing conscious presence to your hands because if you're going to touch someone else and you haven't actually prepared yourself energetically then your touch will be nowhere near as amazing as it will be if you first prepare yourself and it doesn't need to take long it really starts with your awareness and with your intention to activate love and presence and consciousness in your hands and you can do that in a moment just by looking at your hands just by looking at them and in the moment you're looking at them you will very likely notice that something shifts already in the moment you look at the palms of your hands it's like they're starting to come alive starting to pulsate and you can start to feel the energy in your hands so the amazing thing is that we can move energy with our thoughts and our intention energy flows where attention goes so we can literally turn on the healing powers in our hands with just a thought and always connecting with your breath deep belly breaths to come into yourself you know most of us we're running around on a daily basis in in beta mode which is the, the thinking mode and we need some moments if we want to come back into the body and become present so if you're going to touch a person it's important that you don't do that from beta mode because your touch will be kind of it won't have that beauty that it will have in the moment you activated your hands so this is this doesn't actually need any previous experience anyone can turn this on in the moment you decide to do so and practice of course will make it more natural and easy and quicker to access it will deepen your skill and ability so this is why it's so great to start with yourself and and touch yourself as much as you can all throughout your day you know if you've got a bit of pain somewhere touch yourself give yourself some love before going to sleep you can hold your body your heart your belly you can hold your genitals to connect and bring love and presence to your genitals and healing yourself and you can literally practice and, and notice what what does my touch feel like when I'm touching myself what do my hands actually feel like and notice would I want to be touched by me you know check it out is this how I would want to be touched so always 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 start with yourself and always come back to yourself that's where it all begins Conscious presence and awareness as you're connecting with your body and your breath. Coming back into yourself. Becoming embodied in yourself. And being embodied is about really being present in your body. And most of us are not on a daily basis because we maybe work in jobs where we use our brain all the time. Or we distract ourselves with, with looking at our phones and thinking and talking and all sorts of things. So the times when you might be most embodied, it's usually right after you've been done doing some strong, vigorous exercise. You will feel that you're really landing in your body. So strong exercise will do that. Meditation will do that. And when you wake up in the morning, you will also be embodied because you have relaxed and come home to yourself during the night. And of course, love making can bring us back home into our bodies but it's great to actually also go into love making and sex and intimacy already having started that process started that activation in yourself so that you're not meeting your your lover from a place of being highly agitated in a headspace you know so what I want to bring today is some thoughts and insights that I have as a woman in regards to what it's like for a woman to be touched by a man and some things that you guys could most likely very much benefit from hearing from a woman and that maybe your girlfriend or your wife or your partners have maybe not told you so um, hopefully this will bring some some great insights that you can bring with you 
So what I shared just now already gives you, you know, the biggest key to, to how to approach touching a woman. It's really about connecting with yourself first and make sure that you are in a space where you are centered and you're coming from a place of really allowing the love to flow through your hands and your passion to flow through your hands and that it's not so much about what you're doing it's not so much about where you're touching it's not so much about technique but it's mostly about the presence and the energy that you're bringing with your conscious touch and the amazing thing with that is that you can literally turn that on as you allowing yourself to become a channel for this love because this universe is love so you don't even have to feel that it needs to come necessarily from you you can open yourself as a channel and allow this love to pour through your hands allow her to feel you because very often if we hold back our energy and we often do that because we're afraid of doing something wrong or touching too strong or, or the, doing the wrong thing so when we're holding back that's usually when it feels it can feel a bit kind of weird for the other person who's receiving because you're not giving fully but you're somehow withholding yeah so this is where you can really benefit from practicing this with yourself first so when it comes to touching a woman and that's like you know like if if you have not had much experience you know like okay let's me let me rephrase that so when you go to touch a woman first of all the women we we get aroused in concentric circles starting from the external whereas men very often tend to get highly aroused from going straight to the point like straight to the genitals whereas for women that is usually off-putting it will turn her off if you're heading straight for boobs and genitals you need to start on the external parts head shoulders arms legs slowly moving towards the more sort of you know sexual parts of the body so that's something important to remember it's not just boobs and breasts it's really the whole body and also using your whole body for that like you know that's maybe topic for another live but um, so yeah let's stick to touch for today so if you're approaching to touch a woman with your hands do those steps that I've just mentioned activate your hands connect with yourself and your breath and first of all just hold just place your hands on her body and hold allow the energy to pour through your hands never under underestimate the power of holding still still touch is incredibly powerful and that alone can start to make her aroused if you're just connecting with her allowing her to feel you allowing the energy to flow through you naturally as it does in the moment you connect with yourself first it will flow through you beautifully and then it's really in the less is more very much it's about so see I'm, I'm putting words to this in a new way to what I've ever done before so this is going to be interesting so the presence yes it's the most important part the energy that flows through your hands starting with the extremities and moving inwards and you want to give her the feeling as if you've got this as if you got her whole body somehow that you are really en encompassing or, or like holding her whole body with your energy and and why that because if you're coming in like we can very often do when we're not thinking about this we're kind of honing in on, on one body part and we start to kind of work on one body part and very often it can feel a bit like it can feel kind of it's it's vulnerable it's vulnerable to to be to receive touch and we can feel a bit startled by that we can feel a bit awkward we can feel a bit it can be difficult to relax when somebody starts to touch us so the more you can give a sense of that you've got her 
you've really got her whole body with your energy even if you're just touching one body part energetically you're holding her whole body and you can do that also with with both your hands like placing your hands at opposing parts of her body like one hand on her if she's lying down let's say one hand on her shoulder one hand on her hip or thigh and just holding there like that you you're helping her to relax much easier than if you're honing in on just one spot so that she can feel that you you could you could potentially just lift her up and, and cradle her in your arms right then and there so um yeah so that's important make her feel that she's held energetically by you and then another thing i want to share which is really important is to bring a sense of flow and like a dance or like a rhythm or like you're playing music with her body and this is something that obviously is not something you will hear I mean you could have music on which will make that easier I suppose but not necessary and this is where you will really be tuning into your own feminine because the masculine can bring very strong presence and strength and that kind of reassuring feel that's so beautiful in your masculine energy but you will need your feminine to bring in bring in the flow and the warmth and the playfulness and the care for the details so when you're starting to do to touch a woman regardless of if it's just a, a um, a moment of touch or a whole body massage you want to bring in a sense of that you are playing a whole piece of music on her body and you're aware of every part every part matters so very often we think that you know we, we go to start to touch someone and we quickly put our hands on their body but already there you can freak her out because you didn't remember that actually already moving towards her and placing your hands on your body has already started the process so every single thing is part of your touch and all of those parts need to be influenced by your presence if you want it to be an incredible tantalizing experience so let's say you're sitting next to her and you're touching her and then you take your hand off for a moment and you move your chair if that moving the chair and taking the hand off is not part of that piece of music you're playing with her on her or with her body then she will get a shock energetically and and she won't be able to relax and open up and receive you so make sure that everything you do in bed with her or if you're just giving her a massage on the couch or on a chair every movement in your body even if you need to scratch your ear for a moment that is part of what you're doing with her so consciousness and awareness in every single part of what you are doing with the woman okay that's how sensitive we are and regardless if you're massaging a man do the same thing yeah but as a woman she might be more sensitive to that than anyone else so those are really really like if you're just bringing that in you you already winning you know what i've shared with you now so the touch itself like where you go to touch and and how you do it this is where it's so much about trusting your body and your flow rather than any thoughts you might have you know if you've read anything about techniques things like that it can be good but the most important part is that you are bringing your presence to the touch. Let's see who is saying hello here. Hi, John Weller. Nice to have you here. Awesome. Great. So we're talking about conscious touch. And if you haven't heard or watched the, the previous Thursday videos, then go back and listen to them because that's where we're building the foundations to what I'm talking about today. So when you are massaging or touching a woman, everything is part, everything is part, even your own personal movement, even if you have to do a little cough 
while you're doing it. Be aware as you do that. And if you're taking, in the moment you're touching her, and in the moment you're taking your hands away from her, are also super important. So in the moment you're going to touch, you come in slowly and gently and consciously. So you're not just quickly putting your hands on, because that's a shock. And in the moment you're taking your hands away, same thing, slowly take your hands away. Because you could have just done something very beautiful, and then you take your hands away quickly, and she will be in shock. Yeah? <laughs> Those things, I've be, been dancing in the sand. Oh, interesting. Is that like a metaphor for massage, or is it literal dancing in the sand? I'm curious. So those things are things you might not have thought about when it comes to touch, but they are super important when it comes to, to creating the environment for that really incredible quality of touch. So if you're creating those foundations and even just placing your hands on her body, it's already going to be amazing. And from there, start playing the music. Have a rhythm to what you do. A slow rhythm to what you do. Allow the energy to flow through your hands. Allow yourself to be painting a picture on her body or playing a piece of music on her body. Free real movement, exactly. So, so much more important to trust your own inner flow than be thinking about, oh, should I touch it there? Because that's like you know, supposed to be some kind of secret spot or something. Much more important, the energy that you're bringing to the touch, that you are really bringing presence into your touch. And that takes intention, awareness, and practice. And let's go into also the next step. Just because many of you here are partnered and you might be doing this tonight, so why not? So if you're going to touch a woman also when it comes to her vagina and her genitals. So I'm not talking about internal yoni massage today. That would be a completely different completely different class. And I don't recommend anyone doing that unless you are very skilled already in massage. Yeah? Because I've heard too many times women and that is women who are you know have been with a lot of men have been with a lot of conscious men have been with a lot of conscious massage therapist men or even tantric practitioner men that they're saying i have still not found a man who is sensitive enough when he's touching me so you guys got to know that i think i think it's important you know that that generally guys always come on too insensitive and too rough on one hand or on the other hand you're coming in too nervously and too insecurely when you're touching her and both of those ones can make her feel unsafe in your hands so both of these things like have a tendency to be too insensitive and too rough or having a tendency to doubting your own touch and, and feeling nervous and insecure when you're touching her. Both of those things, you know, are very normal and human for us who have grown up in this society. And both of those extremes are things that will really benefit from all the work that we're doing here, all the different practices that I'm giving you here from Monday to Friday each week, your mindset, your meditation, your embodiment, your own conscious touch practice, all of those will influence your ability to, to grow that place in yourself where you can, if you're a man who have the tendency to be maybe a bit too rough, to really become more in touch with your sensual self and your sensitivity and your ability to perceive the subtleties and appreciate the subtleties. So for the man who tends to be a bit rough, it would be, if I use this, that language, it would be becoming more in touch with your feminine. And that is something that you will practice through 
touching yourself in ways that are not just your the way you have programmed yourself to masturbate for instance but really by touching yourself in a conscious way in a sensual way in a in a loving way on a daily basis connecting with your sensuality in your body and your ability to to appreciate sensuality in all the different forms that we can experience sensuality during our day. I mean, I remember when I did massage, I had guys that would say, so what's the sensual part? Because they had obviously no concept for sensuality other than sensual in regards to nudity and, and genital touch. That was sensual, but they weren't aware of that sensuality can be everything. Our bodies are sensual already to start with. Just feeling the wind the breeze on your skin can be a fully sensual experience if you are open and connected. Moving your body is a sensual experience. Touching yourself, eating food can be sensual. Speaking can be sensual. So we have opportunities to connect with our sensuality every single day, all, all through the day if we choose to and I recommend you do choose to do that take breaks during the day even if you're working to tune into yourself connect with your body and if you as we're coming back to the woman if you're going to touch her yoni her vagina make sure that you have touched the other parts of her body first because going straight for her vagina will upset her and when you're touching her vagina, first start with just connecting, just holding your hand still, just placing your hand, cupping your hands over her genitals, just landing there with your hands, hold, give energy, stay present so that she can feel that you've got her. And if you need the time, that time to relax and come into your body even more, do so. Stay still, just holding her. Just still touch is so underrated when it comes to deepening her connection to her arousal and her trust in you, her ability to open up. So just holding still and maybe blowing some warm air gently, slowly and holding. And you will notice if you are holding still, in a beautiful way that's present and sensitive at the same time then you will notice that she will start to respond if you give it some time you will notice maybe her breath you can feel that she getting positively affected by your touch maybe she will start to move a little bit so not rushing into anything just starting with that still present touch so that she can feel that you are there with her because your presence is the most arousing thing for the feminine. And if you tend to be a guy who is more um, highly sensitive, I'd like to say, because it is a beautiful thing that you are highly sensitive. Yeah, Often the more intellectual types. Not always, but often. And you can tend to be a bit more nervous in your body, a bit more shaky. And you might be doubting your touch. So when you go to touch her, you might have been nervous or holding back. So for you, this is super important practice of placing your hands on her body and allow yourself to really be still and bring in your strength, bring in your masculine. So this is where practice with yourself is really important because you, as a sensitive guy, you have a lot of sensitivity, but you will benefit from most likely from building more of your masculine strength, your depth, that really solid, grounded strength in yourself. So um, through touch, because that's what we're talking about today, there's lots of different other ways to approach building your masculine. But through the touch, focus on actually really everything that I said until now, and holding still and allow yourself to bring your strength and allow her to feel you. So no need to pull back or second guess yourself. 
allow her to feel you really like streaming your energy into her body with still hands and when you start to move if you start to move take your time do so as part of the music that you're playing with her body so the opposite to that would be what too many men do okay they hone in on the genitals they go straight in too quickly touching too rough and they start kind of you start kind of trying to make something happen you're trying to start manipulate and, and maybe rub or, or 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 you know manipulate the clitoris a bit too fast and then you do a bit of that and then you change and do something else no 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 don't change and do something else if you start with something stay with the rhythm that you have and keep it a slow rhythm slow is always a winner even if she starts to get hotter and start to rouse stay with the slow rhythm maybe increase speed fractionally but very very little stay with the rhythm there's nothing more frustrating for a woman than when if you go in and, and you do a little bit of this and then you move into a, bit of, a little bit of that then a bit of something else it's like you feel like you you're a remote control in the hands of a guy who's just flicking through the channels it's incredibly frustrating for a woman so you remember you are playing music on her body but but <laughs> what kind of musical instrument don't think that it's a flute and you're gonna start kind of you know slow and steady does it slow and steady and keep to a gentle rhythm and if you're planning to change what you're doing do that very gently and slowly as part of painting the picture maybe you're moving over to hold her hips for a bit reassuring solid touch like even just putting some weight on her hips with both your hands <gasps> incredibly arousing for a woman holding her hips holding her shoulders stroking her body holding your hands over her pubic bone and her genitals streaming your energy into her with your conscious presence and your love and if you're starting to move towards the you know the the more inner sanctum of her genitals make sure that you're always using a, a lubricant when you're touching her mucous membranes so never dry onto her mucous membranes whether it's a finger or anything else you're using you always need to be lubricated when you're touching a woman's mucous membranes otherwise they can get very quickly um, hurt or damaged yeah and uh, I'm not going to go any further into that today because in a way you don't even really need that much more to start with because this is already more than most, I would say 97% of the male population knows. Yeah, If you have these parts in place, you're already winning. And don't try and make her come. Yes, touch her and pleasure her because of the joy of the pleasure. If she's going to have an orgasm, you will notice and you don't need to change anything. You just keep doing what you're doing with a steady, steady, loving rhythm. Streaming your energy into her body. And if she's going towards an orgasm, if that's happening, don't speed up. Just keep the same rhythm. And whatever you do, don't change what you're doing right then, you know. Don't all of a sudden get an idea and go like, well, I'm going to try something else. Stay with what you're doing, okay. Unless she's showing you that she doesn't want that, then of course, stop. And she might giving you a sign that it's too much, then just slow down. Just slow down and maybe just hold her, yeah. So this is just touching externally. I'm not talking about going inside a woman at all here because that's really something for a different probably a private class I'd say okay so any questions anyone any questions Tom and John or anyone else who's here while I'm on throw me any questions you might have and if you are listening to the replay you can also ask questions 
Let me know that you're watching the replay. And every Thursday we'll be coming back to Conscious Touch. So whatever didn't get shared today in a sufficiently clear way, I can uh, bring next time if you just let me know what, what parts maybe weren't clear for you, what you need to know more about. Okay, so I'd say that's enough for today then. Okay, thank you so much, Tom and John, for listening in live. I love, love, love that you're here live. Super awesome. And um, yes, I hope you find a lot of value from this today. Let me know if there's some, you know, special insights that come to you. I'd love to hear that as well as all questions. It's all great feedback for me so that I can know what to bring that will help you where you are at in your life with these things. And if you're single, go back to massage yourself every single day. Okay? All my love to you. Talk to you later. Bye.